Hey guys, this is Josh here and for today's video is we're going to talk about the iPhone XR. Is it still worth it in the late 2022? Let's go! Hey guys, again this is Josh here and welcome back to our channel. And uh, yes guys, uh, it's been a long time since I haven't uploaded any video and yes, what we have now here is the iPhone XR or XR in blue. It is already late 2022 in this uh, time of recording and I will be giving my uh, honest opinion about uh, the iPhone XR. I've been using this one for uh, like three months and uh, yes I think that's enough if I would say if it's still relevant or if it's still uh, advisable to have the iPhone XR in this late 2022. I have here another budget uh, phone in the iPhone department. Uh, yes the iPhone XR you can get this one guys for around uh, 15,000 pesos or around $300 or less. Alright, so without further ado, let's talk about the performance. To be honest guys, the performance, I have no issues at all when it comes to its function. When we try to open the application, it still loads pretty fast. Uh, even though that it is uh, only A12 Bionic chipset, it still does uh, its job. So, um, I have no problem when it comes to opening applications and uh, so on and when it comes to its UI uh, it is still pretty smooth it's still pretty fast I have no uh, issues and no glitches so far as what I've, I've experienced yes and now let's talk about the camera yeah I know that the camera of iPhone XR it is a very uh, some people say that it is hyped because um, many p people say that it is has a very it has a very good camera well I tell you guys I have already used iPhone 10 11 12 yeah I'm not 13 yet yes and uh, I'm now using the iPhone 10 R and uh, guess what guys this is really my honest uh, opinion about the iPhone 10 R it does really an amazing job in capturing pictures and also videos I cannot explain totally what is the main difference between those other iPhones out there but it is a really weird feeling because uh, supposedly iPhone XR is lower than iPhone 11 and 12 but I, I, I don't know just it is nicer when it comes to its uh, details it uh, for me it's more detailed and the uh, color it's more accurate it is not too uh, saturated um, I've used the iPhone 12 I, I'm not sure if you're experiencing the same but for me the iPhone 12 it's more saturated the iPhone 11 it's also pretty good but uh, when I compare it with iPhone 10 R when it's especially the selfie camera it is really it has a different uh, quality and I it's really hard it's really really hard to tell the or distinguish the main difference just for me I say like wow this 10R is different and I I also upload TikTok videos and uh, uh, I I don't know but when I use the this iPhone 10R for TikTok it really does an amazing job yes the the videos comes clear and uh, the filter is more I don't know more accurate yes and when you upload it it doesn't come uh, as grainy yeah because other iPhones I've tried the 12 and the 11 when I upload them there's some kind of grainy part or noise yes alright guys so please if you have iPhone 11 12 and 13 and uh, hopefully the 14 please don't uh, don't get angry this is just my personal opinion okay so for the camera it's a big yes if you are buying the iPhone XR for camera yeah that's totally a yes guys the only problem and the only issue that I think that could have been uh, could have been done to the iPhone XR is that it's wide-angle camera um, like me I really like the wide-angle like taking 
pictures, landscape pictures. Yes, uh, that's just my only concern. But that is something that we cannot do since we cannot add another uh, camera. Now let's move on to gaming, guys. I I'm not a very heavy gamer, but I tell you guys, um, I am using this phone for playing Mobile Legends, and uh, yes, guys, it doesn't fail me. It does a pretty good job in in play when when I was I'm playing game. So 100%. If you're buying this for for game, uh, especially for Mobile Legends, then it's a very good uh, choice, guys. All right. Now let's talk about the battery. Yeah, I mean, yes, uh, the iPhone issues can be more of the battery, but when I say the battery of the iPhone XR. I have no problem at all since I'm using the fast charger. So I'm using the fast charger. Uh, it it uh, it charges pretty easily and pretty quickly, and it it doesn't uh, drain uh, easily. Yes. So when I compare this one to my iPhone, other iPhones, then iPhone XR can really last you for a day for moderate usage. And for extensive gaming, it can last you for around 3, three hours, guys. So that's uh, non-stop uh, gaming. So I think that's pretty much it, guys, for my personal point of view of the iPhone XR. And if you ask me if it's a good buy in this late 2022, all I can say is it's still a big yes. Uh, I think that uh, Apple will still support this product for more two or three years more. And if you're on a tight budget and you just want to try an entry level iPhone, then iPhone XR is really good for you. Okay, so uh, let me know guys about your comments and your um, your feeling and your thoughts about the iPhone XR. Just comment down below. And guys, if you like this video, kindly click the thumbs up and also consider subscribing to our channel. Once again, this has been Josh and I'll see you in our next video.